that it could be a connection problem between the controller and the motor. After I changed those fuses, is it me or are these green rings like way brighter than they were? All right, what's up everybody? <clears throat> a little bit of a random video here. Just had a little update, some uh, juice bike update stuff. For one, uh, that's kind of interesting. I ordered a juice pipe or a <clears throat> juiced bike electric smart pump here. So after I got that flat in episode 62, I believe, I, you know, after pumping that tire up in the hot sun with that little tiny pump that took forever, I decided to get this. <clears throat> so I was su super excited to get this in the mail. I got this uh, today, actually. But oddly enough, when I ordered this originally during the week, um, it showed up, you know, usually the juice, juice stu uh, bike stuff shows up pretty quick. And it came and I was like, oh, awesome. I got this bike pump finally. I was excited to use it because I just don't want to ride without it anymore. It's just nice to know that I have this. And I'm going to do a review on this. It's just kind of a quick little video. Um, but what came instead of this was a juice bike horn. They sent me this horn. I ordered the pump and they sent me the horn by mistake. They're the same price. Uh, came out to just about 60 bucks. It's a good horn and all. I This thing, I don't need it because my bike already has a horn. This thing is so loud. Uh, not only is it a horn, but it's also an alarm. So if you didn't have a horn or an alarm, it's cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I think my father was going to use it for something. I, I don't know. I'm going to see if he wants it. And then this came today, which is awesome. Excited about Now you might be seeing this. Some of you may notice, like, why is his plate off on the bike? This is a plate that, you know, uh, hides the controller and stuff. So let's go over to this side. Here's the seat. That's the seat of the bike. Goes on like so. The last few times I was riding, I was getting getting an error code 8 on the bike. And error code 8 suggests, when I looked it up on the uh, Juice Bike website, error code 8 suggests that it could be a connection problem between the controller and the motor. So that led me to do some investigating, trying to figure out what it could have been. I did a few things. I changed the, I was like, all right, what can I start that's pretty much kind of easy? So what I did first, I figured why not, I changed the fuses on my batteries. Um, yeah, I changed the fuses on my batteries. Don't take these screws out. I first thought you had to take these screws out. You do not. You just pop these covers off. Now to say just pop them off is an understatement. It looks like they put a little bit of, yeah, it looks like they put a little bit of hot glue on top of the fuse and then stuck this uh, cover on it. So the fuse comes out of the battery easy enough, but then you have to pry the fuse out of this cover because it's hot glued in there. Not the worst thing in the world, but keep in mind, that's something you have to probably have to deal with if you ever change the fuse now. Don't remove these screws. I thought you had to. You don't. Now, this is weird. I, I don't know if it's just me thinking it's like this or not. But after I changed those fuses, I don't know if it's me because I, I wasn't looking for it. But this green ring seems so much brighter than with the other fuses. Like, as soon as I turned them on, even the other one, too, I was like, is it me or are these green rings like way brighter than they were prior to me changing the fuses? I don't know if they are or not. I wasn't looking for it. They just seem brighter to me. And I'm not sure if it's just me or what. But either way, I changed the fuses. Couldn't hurt. I'm glad I changed them. That's that. That didn't fix the code 8 error. 
or error code eight. I disconnected and reconnected. It could be a little hard to see, I do apologize, but right here, right here is the motor cable that goes to the back wheel. I disconnected and reconnected this. I took the seat off and I disconnected and reconnected all these wires. I also put a new display on here. When I first got this bike, I had a little bit of condensation in my display, like the first day I rode it. So I called Juiced. This is actually my original display. But I'm actually gonna put this back on because I don't need to use this new display yet and I'll explain why in just a second. Um, the condensation left my original display after like a day or two of riding it and then I was like, hey, you know what? I'll just keep this backup display just in case something happens to the fresh one or the, the old one, I'll have a fresh one. I'm actually gonna replace this because after I did all these connecting things and was figuring it out, when I was putting the bike back together, I noticed something. Now look at this. This wire is squished to hell. Look at this thing. So this wire goes right to the controller. You can see it. Part, so I feel like this is what the problem is. This was ca causing that weird controller error. So what I think was happening, you can kind of, it's really hard to see on this, but I'll try to put a picture up. There's a little, it looks like the casing. Yeah, it looks like the casing wore away from being squished by a bolt. And eventually that little wire was making contact with the metal on the bike, causing the error eight, causing the error eight code on the uh, display. So what was happening, one of the pegs to hold on the seat goes through here. And this is actually, this connects to this. But this was directly underneath here. And during the factory, now I never removed the seat. So during the factory assembly, when they were tightening the bolt to tighten the seat down, picture this, but on the other side, it, it actually got squished underneath the, underneath the bolt. So the bolt that was tightening the seat down during the factory assembly squished the hell out of this cord. I'm not bashing juiced or anything, like things like that do happen. I haven't had many problems with juiced at all, so I'll give them a pass on this one, but you can easily see how that wire is just squashed to hell. And I think every once in a while, like when I was sitting down, the wire was just getting squashed more and it was, uh, you know, causing a short. So my plan is I'm going to split this wire down. I'm going to remove the casing. And then there should be individual wires in there. I'm going to make sure they're all separated and make sure nothing's touching anything. And then uh, use electrical tape. I'm not gonna do that on film because I don't really know what I'm doing and it might take a while. So I'll show you the end result though. I did take a bunch of photos of these today. I'm gonna send Juiced a uh, submit, like I'm gonna submit a ticket with them. Now I'm well out of warranty. I think March something, my warranty ended. But seeing as though this is clearly a manufacturing issue, you know, I'm gonna try to fix the controller, but I would like to have a controller that doesn't have a squish wire. So I'm gonna see if Juiced will help me out on this one. If anybody's having any issues like that with the controller, check out the, um, the bolts underneath here. And maybe yours got squished too. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm going to split this wire open and uh, we will see how it works. There's my Sasquatch sticker. I never actually looked in here, so it's kind of cool to see it. I don't know how much these even cost. They're not on the website. I'm guessing they're probably 150 bucks or something like that. I will buy one if I have to, but I would hope that they would help me out with the warranty in some way or extend it or give me an exception because this is 100% a manufacturer issue and it was causing my bike to not work. So hopefully they'll help me out. All right, I'm gonna end the video. 
I'll show you, maybe I'll do a, like, I'll, if I, after I split this open very carefully, I'll uh, maybe take a little video of that, let you know. All right, wish me luck, and, you know, check those wires. Oh, so what I did, I took the plate off here. This is where the plate was. And then, what, you can see up here. I'll put my finger on top. This is where the, the wire was here and it was getting squished right there. So I removed this casing. So you can see where the wires got squished. So there's, that one's actually showing some innards of the wire. The white one, see it shining? I believe there's a spot on the red wire too that was showing. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure all these are separated and put some electrical tape on them and then put the seat back on without squishing this in and hopefully that'll fix my code A error. Now, keep in mind, if I was still in warranty, I wouldn't be messing around with this at all. But since I'm out of warranty, I don't know how long it's going to take to get a new controller or how long if they're going to, that'd be great if they sent me a free one or a discount, something, you know, you can see this wire, you can see this wire, how squished it got, which squished those. So, all right, let's move on. I'll show you what the finished product is. All right, quick update, pretty much just electrical taped all this. I separated the wires and electrical taped them. So each individual wire has electrical tape around it, and then I put electrical tape around all of them together. I know it looks a little bulbous and weird, but this seems like it's decently thick insulation, so I wanted to match that here. This should be okay. I think we'll be all right. Um, you can see this wire, when it sticks in, it like it, it likes to lay where this uh, the mounting spot is for the seat. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to remove this. And then when I'm putting the seat back on, I can make sure that I don't hit this cord like they did in the factory. But other than that, we should be good. Um, and we will do a, we'll do a little review on the juiced pump. I have no idea how to use this thing. All right, we'll figure that out when the time is right. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Wish me luck with the repair, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later.